What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel today. As you see in our background here, we've got a old school 1960s model Mack truck that's been sitting for pretty much forever. As you guys can see, this thing's like grown into the ground. The ground's grown around it. And we're gonna do another will it start. It's been a while since we've done like a good will it start. And this truck has a lot of background we have to go over with first. So let's jump right into it. So the owner of this truck, Mr. Johnson with Johnson Timber or Johnson Logging Company, um, said this used to be his father's truck. They've owned it since brand new and it's a 1960s model. So you guys can see it's been like 80 years since they've owned this truck. Um, and we have some background on why it's been parked. So let's jump right into it. So the reason this thing has been parked is because the injection pump is stuck at wide open throttle. Um, whenever we move the throttle, there's no resistance in it. It just you know, kind of just moves freely. Um, then when we move the shutoff here, it doesn't you know, try to stop anything. And I'm kind of, I'm very, actually very familiar with the inline injection pump. And what it is, there's a rack inside there that moves forward and backwards that allows the fuel to go higher and lower, which in turn makes the RPMs go higher and lower. And in order to fix that, we're gonna pull this cover off right here and get to that rack and see if we can free it up. We've brought some lubricants from our friends over at Hot Shot Secret, so we're gonna pull it apart, see if we can get it broke loose and working back and forth. We've got some extra fuel, because I think the fuel tank's empty. We've got some fuel lines. So we've got all kinds of stuff to make this thing start. Um, so we're gonna jump right into it and make that happen. So first things first, we want to go ahead and get this in intake pipe out of the way, because in the event that this thing does decide to run away, we wanna have a piece of wood to shove over that turbo so it doesn't just take off and zing to the moon. So uh, we're gonna get the intake pipe off here and then start pulling the injection pump apart and see if we can get it fixed up. Got the pipe broke loose, just gotta get it off the turbo here. There we go. See if we can get this one. There we go. All right, intake pipe disconnected. Check. Now we just, uh, froze up that's a plus all right so we've got that so we can shove this baby shut in case it decides to run away um, now i'm gonna grab a looks like a 12 millimeter and pull this injection pump cover off here and see if we can get it fixed up this thing should have oil in it I maybe mean, we'll probably not since it's been sitting still it's probably drained back but there should be oil in this area when it is running. Hmm, we didn't bring any wrenches with us, did we? Nope. The Skeeters are tearing me arms up. Dang it. Dang it. Drop the one. So I've got all the bolts out of this thing, guys, and I'm gonna try to tap this cover loose without damaging the gasket behind this injection pump. There it is. That wasn't too bad. Gasket's still intact. So down inside here, you guys can see all the plungers that move up and down with the cam that make the injectors fire. Um, another rack. See, these things should turn. They're not turning. So I need to pull that cover off, see if we can find something back in there. So I didn't get anywhere inside here, guys. That just shows the springs and everything, the plungers that make the um, injection pump fire towards the injector. So back here is the governor housing. Let's see if we can find anything back here. I'm not well versed in this exact model of injection pump, but all these inline injection pumps basically work the same. There's a governor back here in the back side of them that spins and a the rack that moves back and forth to make the injection pump run or not run. So let's see if we can find out something back here. Ooh, nice. Got some moisture in it. 
See, some of this stuff should be moving freely and some of it isn't. I think this needs to go forward is the problem. So I've been working on tinkering with this pump, guys. I've got my spray lube up in here, our Hot Shot Secret Brian's Day Grease. And from the front here, the rack travels on the back side of the injection pump. That's why I couldn't see it right here. And inside here, it moves these plungers, or I'm sorry, it moves the, yeah, basically a plunger. And as you move it left to right, it adds more fuel or less fuel. And what we've done is up here in the front, there's an access hole, which we put the punch through. You can see it right there. And we've tapped this rack inside the injection pump all the way back. And you'll see this arm move. Is it moving still? Yeah. Right there. So right there, it just stopped moving. So basically what we've done, this thing was stuck at, I wouldn't say wide open throttle, but probably like every bit of 50% throttle. And with the motor having no load on it, that is wide open throttle. Um, but the problem is we can't get the rack to move back forward because we don't have any way of directly tapping on it. I mean, I might could try to tap on it right here somewhere and try to find something to hit, but the biggest thing is the injection pump needs to come off this thing and be rebuilt. There's really no way of trying to get this rack freed up on here without spending a lot of time here. We don't have time, so, um, I mean, the truck is really rough, so. Either way, um, we've got it knocked back into the idle position. As long as we don't rev it up and go crazy, this thing should start right up and idle. If it doesn't, we've got our um, hand here, we'll stick a block of wood over the engine, shut it down, and we'll pull the fuel lines off the injection pump, worst case scenario. But, uh, like I said, guys, and that honestly might be back too far, or it might not even start up. We can see, because the shutoff isn't really doing jack crap right now. So, anyhow, we're going to try it. We'll uh, leave these covers off of it for now, because it's really not going to make a difference whether they're on it or not. It might leak a little bit of oil, but, uh, it's big old bobcat. After that bird. So yeah, we're gonna try to get some fuel lines plumped to it, get the batteries put in it, and see if we can get this thing to fire up. So I played with the injection pump a little bit more, guys, and I actually got it to free up where my, where my pry bar went a little bit more. Um, we got it to go back forward now. So um, keep in mind, guys, this injection pump is pretty much shot. So we can we can get the rack to go forward, which is full throttle, and we can get it to go back, which is near idle. So what we're gonna do is knock it all the way back to where it's at near idle. basically where it's shut off. Then we're gonna bump it back forward just a tiny bit till we get fuel coming out of these injectors. So probably about right there where we still have where the shut off arm still wanting to shut it off. So we're gonna leave it right there, get this cover put back on. We'll leave that off just so that if anything does happen, we can actually shut the fuel off right there just by knocking this thing all the way back into the off position. So we're gonna get this cover put back on, get some batteries put in it and check the fuel in the tank. And we may just end up running a fuel line straight from our fuel to uh, this system right here. Oops. All right, guys, battery time. Let's see if we can get these batteries put in the right, right way the first time. So it's supposed to stand like that, yep. Put those right there. Let's see, we want to. <clears throat> I think I ain't seen a battery in who knows how long. It's so old. I wonder if it even turn over. Whoop! Oh, there's power. I wonder if it's positive ground. Let's find that out right quick before we get too far. And that one's a ground. So these are, those are their both grounds. That's why it's doing it. So we got our batteries in there guys. The key doesn't turn it over. We've made sure it's in neutral. Before we go too crazy and try spinning it over, we're just gonna do a little, little test bump here. Let's see what she does. Well, there's a belt. <laughs> get the belt out. Yeah, I better cut those. 
I guess just take them off. Spins over though. Tries yeah. to. That's not the plus. Don't seem like it's locked up. Hmm? Don't seem like it's locked up. No. You got anything to set long when the bolts spread it onto it. Look at Bruce in his natural habitat. It's so clean for an outdoor cat. He must do a lot of licking. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing I do. Man, these are the good old bells. Can't cut these mothers. There we go. Belt's removed. All right, home skillet. Let's put the camera down somewhere. And... Here. I'll spin it over and you tell me if it goes crazy. All right, guys, here we go. We're gonna give this thing a start. Make sure the camera's on. Yep, check. All right, Bithwick. See if she'll do. Juice to make it want to think it's going to start. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Do what? So I got one crack, one injection line cracked loose. We've got our kill tool just in case. All right, go ahead. Okay guys, so we've got this thing hooked to 24 volts now, so it should spin over. Pretty quick indeed. Go ahead. It's gonna make a big spark this time.
So right now, guys, it's starting to bleed fuel out. The reason we got the camera so far away is in case something happens, you can see all the action. So, all right, try it again. There you have it guys, the Mac started up and I'll get in close here. We started getting some fuel out of the injection pump here, um, but we just cooked one of our batteries because we had it hooked at 24 volts. So, and these are cheap, like $69 Royal King batteries. They're absolute freaking trash. So tomorrow we'll get our interstate charged back up. We got a couple more interstates we'll bring back out here either tomorrow or the following day and try to get this thing actually running on its own. I have 100% confidence this thing will start up and idle and run like it's supposed to, of course, with our assistance on controlling the governor. But uh, it is about to monsoon here in Florida. I know it doesn't look like it on camera, but uh, it's getting dark quick and it's about to rain. So we're gonna get cleaned up. Tune into the next episode of Will It Start with the old Mac. I don't know when it'll be, either tomorrow or the following day. It's forecast to rain like every day here in Florida, guys. So I'm out of breath, but we're gonna get this thing going i promise you can hold me to it guys go to bruce's shop grab your merch i've extended it out to winning the wiener mobile to one more day to friday night at midnight grab your blue collar trucking hats t-shirts air fresheners all that good stuff go to the website brucewilsonshop.com grab merch and you smash the like button drop a comment down below and subscribe we'll see you later peace